Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Max Render Hot Tips. Today I'm going to be having a look at anti-reflective coatings. So here I am in my very simple scene. It's just some primitive objects on a floor and it's being lit by an HDRI and in this case it's one of the DOS HDRIs that comes with Maxwell. And the cube, the cone and the sphere on top have a glass IOR material applied. I'll just quickly show you that here. And in particular they're using the glass borosilicate crown optical glass and of course you get this by going to measure data in your IOR drop down, clicking this little folder icon here and then going to your Maxwell folder, going to the material database and IOR files and of course putting the roughness down to zero. And that's the material on these top three objects. But on the bottom three objects I've got a slightly different material. It's this anti-reflective glass. And it's exactly the same as the previous glass. It has a crown optical glass IOR file applied. But it has this coating layer applied as well. And this coating is also using an IOR file, but this time it's magnesium fluoride. Because magnesium fluoride is a real anti-reflective material used by opticians and other glassmakers as an anti-reflective coating. And the thickness of this coating is currently set to 125 newton meters. And there's a little bit of physics behind why this is the case. But basically you want the thickness to be a quarter of the distance of the wavelength of the light that you want to reduce. Now green light is in the middle of the spectrum and has a wavelength of approximately 500 newton meters. So 125 is a quarter of that. And if I'm reducing the intensity of the light which is in the middle of the spectrum, I'm going to slightly reduce the intensity of the light either side as well. But that's enough of that, let's have a look at the actual scene. As you can see from this top-down view, there are areas of the cube and the cone which look very dark, especially when compared to the objects on the top. And this is where the anti-reflective coating is coming into play. And if I navigate around this scene a little bit, you can see the effect more prominently. Total internal reflection is all but removed inside the cube, and reflections are reduced on the cone. The effect is less visible on the sphere because of the angle that the light is bouncing off of it, but it is actually quite visible in the material previews. Here's the normal glass, and here's the anti-reflective glass. You can see a dark band at the edge. And this is all thanks to this coating, which Maxwell Render simulates the magnesium fluoride material with a thickness of 125 newton meters on top of the BSDF of the optical crown glass IOR. And so this effect of this anti-reflective coating is being simulated inside Maxwell. And this isn't just a display of the render power. It's also a genuinely useful feature in scenarios where you genuinely want an anti-reflective coating. For example, when you're working with optics and sometimes jewellery. Now admittedly, this material isn't perfect. There's still plenty of reflections on the cube especially if I deliberately set up an angle where the cube will reflect a lot of light. And in the real world, materials will have many, many different layers of coatings applied to them to make them very, very anti-reflective. This is just a very simple example. But it's a good example of yet more real-world techniques being applied inside Maxwell. And of course, to get the coating in the first place, select your BSDF, right-click, add coating, select the coating, change the IOR from custom to measured data, Select the little folder, your IOR files will come up. Make sure you select magnesium fluoride, because that's a common anti-reflective material. And then change your thickness down to about 125 in this case, because I've calculated that to be a quarter of the wavelength of the light that I'd like to not reflect. And then watch in the fire window when I activate fire. And it's as simple as that. Thanks very much for watching, and remember for one-to-one -one Skype help, email me at maxorunderbrightcpt.gmail.com, or tweet me at jcom underscore design. Thanks very much, I'll see you again soon.